Welcome back to the Den of Tools. Honey ho, guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And we're here today to talk about fake news. Well, fake reviews. How about that? So a lot of times I get people complaining that they hate Harbor Freight because there's because they they lie about the reviews. They don't post reviews. I know, I, they, this is what they say. They say, I know I posted a review and it never showed up on the site. Now, to be fair to, to Harbor Freight and pretty much every other online retailer there is, any site that takes reviews on their own products always has some sort of caveat as in like, well, you can't use foul language and you got to make it about the, the tool or the item. You can't just rail about the company. And I've seen a lot of these reviews that people have allegedly posted. And usually there, I can easily find where they've broken this rule or that rule. Because the fact of the matter is, if you go on Harbor Freight's website, you can easily find products that are in the one and a half, two and a half star kind of category. Uh, I In my list study the other day, we showed a, I think it was a two and a half star item. They're, they're all over the place. It's, you know, the lower end kind of stuff, stuff we're, we're usually expecting to be kind of bad from Arbor Freight. So anyway, today though, I was going to do a top 10 worst tools from Home Depot. And in doing so, looking at all the tools I pulled up, I noticed something about them that was kind of suspicious. And that is, I couldn't find a tool that is actually sold in store. Now, I'm not talking about the ones that you can order online and have shipped because they deal with all sorts of weird, you know, companies that they allow to sell through them. But the ones that Home Depot actually carries, there isn't one there that isn't a four star. We live in grand times, grand times, I say, because everything at Home Depot seems to be perfect. In fact, let me just show you how perfect it is. All right. Well, here we are. <laughs> the first category we got is, sorry, I can't stop chuckling because it's so ridiculous is 259 results for hand tool sets. Now this is in store, in stock at my local Home Depot and I've sorted it by top rated as you see over here on the right. So the first one they have is of course the Huskies. Imagine that, the top rated tool sold at Home Depot is a Home Depot product. Anyway, so Huskies uh, what is it? The 268 piece tool set for $99. Actually, it's not a bad tool set. And you may want to consider picking one up. Uh, there's, you see the best seller over there. I don't know what they use to rank their best sellers. But so these are the the best items. Let's go down here and here's how we find this out. We go all the way down because these are the top rated. So we go all the way over. There's 11 pages. Let's go to that last page. Now, clearly out of 259 sets of tools, there's got to be some real dogs in here, right? <laughs> some real stinkers and top of the page we got a husky long ball end pocket uh socket set there uh for 4.2 stars Ooh, 4.2 maybe it goes down you know quickly from here whoops gotta unhighlight that let's see how qu rapidly it drops uh we're still here at uh 4.4 stars that's kind of going up 4.2 stars Come on, we're, let's get down to the bottom. We got to check on this. Here we go. The worst piece we have here is 3.9. There's a 3.9. Woo. Th another 3.9 and a 4.0 and a 4.0. Well, there you go. 3.9 on that Husky uh, Torx mini foldout set. All right. Maybe, maybe they have great hand tools, right? That It's got to be the case. It's Let's try combo kits. There's got to be some power tools on here that just don't rate. So we're on top rated. There's 43 items in store. Let's go down to the bottom. There's two pages. We've got to go to the second page. It's got to be bad. It's got to be terrible, right? And the worst of the worst is... Da -da, drum roll. Do we have a drum roll? I guess I'd need a drum. The worst of the worst... Okay, they don't have any rankings on that one. Here we go. we got a Ryobi. This is the base level Ryobi set. Looks like it's going to be three and a half stars. And it's going to come in at 3.6. 3.6 stars, folks. That's the worst tool they have in Power Tools. After that, we're at 3.9 and a 4.4. It's 4. Point, look, it's 5 point stars of 5.0, 4.6. That's it. The bottom three right here. Everything, everything higher than, than, than this one. And we're going straight to 4.4 and 5 and better. They're all perfect. Tool chests. There's got to be some really cruddy tool chests here, right? 
We got 21 of them. We're sorted by top rated already. Let's scroll to the bottom. See what we got. All right, no reviews on that one. Here we go. Oh, this thing. This is the bargain basement. You know, this is like the old Ace one, but it's a Husky off-brand kind of thing. And we've got 3.8 stars. 3.8 stars. The next one up from there is 3.8. Bottom row, 4.0. We're at 4.0. And 3.8. And after that, we're at 4.5. 5.0. 5.0, and I'm guessing, oh, 4.8. Wow. I mean, they just don't carry any low-quality stuff, do they? How about nailers? Nailers can be really kind of triggering, if you will. <laughs> they, they they have their problems. Let's see what the worst of the worst in nailers will do us. Uh, it's a Makita, and it is ranked in at 4.1. The Porter Cable's at 4.2. And the other Porter Cable is at, four, was that, 4.3? It was 4.3. Wow. I guess, the, you know, if you need to get nailers, go to Home Depot. They'll help you out. Now, here we got crossover truck toolboxes. Now, I've looked at these in store, and I've seen some terrible welds on these things. I think my dog may have done them. These, these were terrible welds. Let's see what the worst one that they have in store is. And it is a solid 3.8. A solid four and another 3.8. Oh my gosh, the best one. Of, now, at least the best one here is only a four. So we're going between a 3.8 and a four. That, that's your your level of quality there. All right, let's keep going. Let's look at circular saws, okay? Circular saws are one of those things where there's got to be one or two that just aren't quite up to snuff. They're top of the line. They're looking at that DeWalt Flex Volt. It's a 4.8. The Makita's a 4.8. The other DeWalt's a 4.6, and the Milwaukee's a 4.8. Pretty high marks. Pretty high marks. Let's see where we end up. Oh, we got to go to the second page. Second page says... We, we need to get that drum here. Oh, look at this little cutoff wheel thing. Oh, nope, that's a 4.3. The That's a 4.6. Oh, let's go down to the bottom here. Here's a Ryobi. Is that the base one? This is the bottom line one. This is a cheap, cheap little Ryobi quartered one. What's it ranked? What do you think? 3.9 stars. The Makita's at 4.1. Well, <laughs> there we go. How about how about miter saws? All right. I know that there's a few miter saws there that have some problems. I've seen them. I've seen them in action. They 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 cannot possibly all be rated at five stars, can they? 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, and 4.6. That's the top row. We got 16 in stock. At the store, the worst of the worst is a Ryobi coming in at 4.2. You get that? The worst one is only 0.4 points below the best one. I'm I'm glad that only Harbor Freight has has uh, illegitimate reviews and that we can trust these big box retailers to have these fine, upstanding reviewers. 13 saws, table saws now. Now, okay, we got the DeWalt. And it's coming in at 4.7. The other DeWalt at 4.6. The Milwaukee at 4.7. And the last DeWalt at 4.7. We got 13 of these. I think it's at 13. 13. The bargain basement one. We got the rigid here. At five stars. <laughs> 4.2. 4.3. 4 and 4.3. Ah, uh, I have no words. <laughs> How about recip saws? We know there's some dogs in here. We know there are. 26 of them. Top line, of course, all Milwaukee. Uh, 4.8. The Milwaukee Fuel. This is a great one. 4.8. The Fuel. 4.9. And the Fuel 4.7. These are all fantastic. All of them Fuel. All the top line saws. We got 12 volts. We got 18 volts. These are great saws. And the, and the best of the best, and they're rated, you know, appropriately. I'm surprised there wasn't a 5.0 out there. But honestly, we have we obviously have some honest reviewers here. Let's see what the worst of these 26 saws is going to bring in. Oh, we got to go to the second page. Second page says, still waiting for that drum roll. Here we go. We got the Makita and we got the corded rigid. 
The Makita comes in at 4.1 and the Rigid at 4.0. <laughs> Man, they sell some great saws at Home Depot. Last but not least, Wet Dry Vax. All right, Wet Dry Vax. There's 19 of them. I mean, let's be honest, you know some of these really suck. Oh, come on. You're just mad because I beat you to it in the comments. Top of the line row is 4.6, 4.6, 4.5, 4 4.7. There we got our baseline so we can figure out our metrics here. Got to have a baseline. That's the top of the line. Let's see. Bottom bottom 19. We're scrolling down. Here we go. We got two rigids and a stinger. All right. This rigid is 4.0. This rigid is 4.1. Whoever's uh, in the, okay. Stinger. I, I've never heard of Stinger. Maybe you have. It comes in at a 4.3. <laughs> Man, they just, they have some miracle tools over here, don't they? Let's be honest. You just can't go wrong when it comes to shopping here at the old, uh, the old Home Depot. It's like four star heaven. You got to really go low just to dip into the, the C ranks, much less a good solid B or an A. Anyway, there you go. Oh, uh, let me know what you think about that. Do you think every product at Home Depot is at least four stars or better? And if you do, what flavor Kool-Aid is that you're drinking? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I want to say a big thanks to everyone who's Join us for Tool Talk Live every Sunday for Tool Tech, Family Business, and so much more. Also, I want to say thank you for everyone who's bought the Home Distillers Workbook. You know, you can still pick one up. There's still a few days left. They do prime two-day shipping. Written by my pet human, Mr. Jeff, over there. You can pick up this copy. It makes a great gift for the holidays. Also, thank you for everyone who's bought the merch. And if you do get some, if you get some for the holidays, I'd love to see a picture of you with it or wearing it or whatever. Anyway, send it our way. Anyway, also big thanks to my brother Blue who who uh, subbed in yesterday, took over the channel, and, and did his take on the worst tools over Harbor Freight. Always great when he's in town. Got to hide the eggnog and the rum, of course, but it's always great when he's around. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. Merry Christmas. And as always, shine on.